This video is for entertainment purposes only and is not financial advice. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Wise debit card. This card claims to be the most international debit card in the world. It allows you to spend abroad with the real exchange rate, no markups and no sneaky transaction fees. And I've been using this card for about three and a half weeks while I was away in South Africa. So I'll be sharing in today's video my thoughts about the card, the pros and cons, and overall whether you should get it or not. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit like and and subscribe and before we begin I do want to thank Money Hub for sponsoring this channel. Money Hub is an online website with a lot of guides about personal finance and investing. If you're interested I'll leave a link down below. So let's get right into the video. The first thing that I really like about the Wise debit card is that they give you market exchange rates and low conversion fees. So for example over here I have the Wise website a screenshot to show what rate you'll get when you're converting New Zealand dollars into South African rands. So over here 1000 New Zealand dollars will get you 10,432 rands and that is a rate of 10.5009 and this number compares to the market rate of about 10.498 rand. This was taken about the same time within a few seconds so as you can see the rates are slightly different in fact WISE is giving you a slightly better rate however that could be because of the volatility in the foreign exchange. So over here we can see that WISE exchange rates are pretty much near the spot market rate. However, if you compare WISE to the competitor, the difference is astounding. So over here I have two different banks. First one is ASB and the second one is ANZ. As you can see, ASB's exchange rate is 10.2821 and ANZ is slightly better at 10.2821. 3035. So the difference between WISE and the next best bank, in this case ANZ, is about 0.2. So you're getting quite a big difference between the exchange rates. Now that we've talked about the exchange rate, let's talk about the conversion fee, which is the second type of fee you get charged when you're converting money. And the WISE conversion fee is 0.66% when converting New Zealand dollars into RANDs. Now if you're converting it into a different currency, you will have a different conversion fee. So if you're interested, you can check out on their website all the different types of fees and the respective rates. However, if you look at what ANZ is charging, 1.3% of the NZD amount, so about two times what WISE would charge you, and ASB is charging you 2.1%, which is about three times what WISE is charging you. So overall, there is a huge difference in terms of the conversion fee, and when you add on the exchange rate differences as well, that is basically a hidden fee for the traditional banks, and that can add up very quickly. So what I did over here is I added both these two differences in conversion fees and exchange rate and I calculated the difference between what you would get with WISE and ASB and ANZ. So over here the difference between WISE and ASB is 3.68% and with ANZ it's 2.51%. So that's a pretty big difference. For every 1,000 New Zealand dollars you're spending, you could be $26.60 better off with WISE to up to $38.30 better off with WISE. And I've also done the calculation if you're spending 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000. Now these numbers are purely theoretical based on what the website is saying, but I've actually used the card overseas, so I'll show you how the transaction compares to uh, what ASB would charge you. So over here I have a transaction screenshot from WISE. So this is an amount that I spent in South Africa on the 28th of July at about 8 p.m. And over here is the ASB debit card transaction that my wife made using her ASB card and she also made a transaction in um, about the same time, so 8.06 on the 28th of July, also in South Africa. Now the difference between WISE and ASB is I've been using my AUD in South Africa through my WISE card, so converting this exchange rate that they've given me based on the spot rate at the time between New Zealand and AUD, uh, roughly the exchange rate is the equivalent of 10.50, and that compares to ASB's rate of 10.31. So there is immediately a 1.28 benefit using WISE. And in terms of the conversion fee, the WISE conversion fee is calculated to be about 0.66%, which is what they said exactly on their website. And in terms of ASB, it is 2.1%, which is also what they said exactly on their website. So in terms of using WISE, you will have a benefit of about 1.45% on the conversion fee. So in total, I'm saving about 3.27% on this transaction, and that aligns with what 
what we've previously calculated on the table in the previous slide. Now another benefit of using the card is that you can use this overseas without converting any currency into the local currency beforehand. So personally what I did was I topped up my card using Aussie dollars and when I went to South Africa all I needed to do was swipe my card and WISE would automatically do the conversion at the time of the transaction. On top of that WISE also have smart conversion technology which basically means that WISE will only use the currency which has the lowest conversion fee. So if you had two different currencies in your account for example New Zealand dollars and uh, British pounds WISE will see which conversion fee is lower in which case it would be pounds because pounds would be a 0.63 percent variable fee or conversion fee and they would use the pounds instead of the New Zealand dollars. So it's very easy to uh, use the WISE card overseas and you don't have to worry about converting anything beforehand. Now another pro about using the WISE card is that you're allowed two free withdrawals up to a total of 350 New Zealand dollars or equivalent if you're from a different country. After that, you'll pay $1.50 per withdrawal. There's also a 1.75% fee on anything you take out over 350 New Zealand dollars. So this is a really handy tool in case you need fiat currency to, for example, tip people. Over here, I withdrew about 92 Aussie dollars, which was 1,000 Rand. And you can see that uh, WISE didn't charge any withdrawal fee. However, the ATM that I was using did charge a third party fee. So over here, they did charge 50 Rand for that transaction. So while WISE doesn't charge you any ATM fees, just be aware that the local ATM might. Another really handy thing about WISE is that you can sign up for a free digital card. With this digital card, you can then sign up and pay for stuff online. And this is a really handy tool in case you need to sign up for anything that requires a credit card, like a seven day free trial. After that seven days, um, you don't want to get charged any more on your card. So what this digital card allows you to do is that you can cancel the card anytime so that you don't have to worry about the app, you know, later on charging you a full year worth of subscription on your card. So this card is really easy to get. You can do this through the app or on the website. And lastly, the thing that I really enjoy about WISE is that they have a really easy to use app which has all the information that you really need while you're traveling. And the app is rated very highly on Apple. It's about 4.6 out of five and on the Android Play Store, it's about 4.2 out of five. So overall, a really useful app. And personally, I really did enjoy the simplicity of the app. You can navigate it really easily and it has all you need when you're traveling. So I think it's worthwhile mentioning that this card is not perfect and there are a few cons that I've personally found. The first one is that the customer service is not the best. For example, over here, I did have a transaction that I wanted to cancel. Uh, it was worth about 7,800 Rand and it did take quite a while for them to refund the money back. Customer service did take about 12 to 24 hours to respond and, and when you're traveling this might seem like a lot of time and personally I didn't really find them too helpful. I had to guide them in terms of what I actually wanted to get out of it. Customer service I think could use some improvement. Another disadvantage about using the WISE card is that they don't pay you any interest on the balance that you have with them. So in other words you should only put in money that you know that you're going to spend so that you know whatever money they have in the bank is still earning interest but on the balance of things it's really not that bad because banks probably pay you about less than two percent on your current account whereas wise you're saving about two percent and you don't want to run out of money on wise otherwise you'll be ending up having to spend money with your traditional bank account which does you know charge about two percent more so on the balance of things wise is a lot better than your traditional bank but they are not a bank so they will not pay you any interest. So personally, I really enjoy using this card. I think that fee differences are huge and the shortfalls of this card is not really that significant for me. So I will be using this card when I go traveling as well as if I need to pay people overseas, I will be using this uh, wise service because they offer the best rates and yeah the traditional banks just don't really compare to wise at the moment so I will be using this card let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section down below I'll try to answer them to my best if you're interested in signing up with wise I have a referral link down below when you use that link you get your first $900 of transactions fee free so definitely check that out if you enjoyed today's video be sure to hit like and subscribe and share this video with someone who you think will benefit from this information thank you guys for watching until next time take care